What on earth has just happened to our world in three days? The driest place on earth, the Sahara Desert, is now pretty much entirely covered by water. The YouTuber, Young Philly, is not allowed to leave Australia after being caught on camera doing unspeakable things in a hotel room. This weatherman broke down on live TV as he predicted what was about to happen to Florida. And guys, even if you don't live in Florida, I too, just like this weatherman, have some big news for all of you. But first, I want you guys to tell me, did you also, for the second time this year, see the very rare event of the Northern Lights? Well, this might seem like the only good news we've had in the last 72 hours, but I've got some good news for you. Jesus Christ is alive and he's ready to wash away all of your sins if you'll come to the cross. If you too believe that that is good news and you're not against me preaching this good news to you another time in your feed, please do subscribe. This whole Young Philly situation is insane. Saying. So I'm going to talk about that first and then we're going to come back to Florida and this weatherman. Now there is a lie, there is a narrative that has been poured out into the young people's lives. It's been going on for a long, long time and it's this lie of the Tinder generation. This lie that the Bible's wrong, the Bible's ancient, you don't need to follow out what God says. Listen, go and have some fun. Don't just settle down with one person. No, how can you choose one person when there's so many people out there? There's plenty of fish in the sea. Go from person to person, run to experience after experience. And that is where you will find happiness, when you're free, when you have true freedom to express yourself. And yet, when you read about what Young Philly has been doing, and I'll be honest, I'm too embarrassed to talk about the details here. These things make me blush to even speak about them publicly. But when you read about what these people have been doing, when you read about other A-lister celebrities who have been talking about on this channel, is that really the lifestyle that leads to happiness? Do you know what I see when I read about this? I see total misery, I see depravity, and it just grows as time goes on and on. These people are not happy, and deep down you know that. Even though the evil one might spill these lies into you, you know it. Do you know what the Bible says? The Bible says that sin, it has its enjoyment for a season. No one can deny that, that sin does create an enjoyment. If you like a fun, it's, it's exciting to do this stuff for a season, but after that, there comes a bitterness. These very sins, it's as bitter as wormwood chewing on that. That's how it, it gets to you eventually. And I believe right now, if you ask young Philly, do you regret what you've done? Do you regret this lifestyle? I'm sure he says, I would turn, I would buy a million clocks in hopes that just one of them could turn back time. Friends, I'm not gonna lie to you. When I was in my early 20s, growing up in this Tinder generation that was just, you know, it started off and everyone was saying, this is the way to live, go from person to person. I'm not gonna lie, as a, a 22 year old who got married very young, there was a temptation to think, the grass, is it greener on the other side? After all, I'm just young. I can't go off any experience. I've just got to make a decision and rest in it. I either rest in this decision to marry my wife young or I leave behind the ways of God and I go out and experience the world like everyone tells me to do. And yet, as I look back now, I can say as a man in his 30s, maybe you thought I was in my 40s, I'm in my 30s, but as a man in his 30s, I can say I made the totally the right decision. Yes, those first years of marriage, they were tough, but marriage is like wine, it just gets better with age. You invest into it and that investment grows and grows. And now when you've got your own children, now when you've multiplied, there is no greater joy than holding your children, holding your wife and knowing, thank you God for what you have given me. And yet those men, those lads who made the decision instead went the other way and decided, no, I'm not going to get married young. I'm going to go my own way. What have they got to show for it? Just a few experiences and now they're in trouble because the Bible does say, do not be deceived. What a man sows, that he will also reap. If you sow to all of these sinful things, you will reap destruction. If you go against the grains of God's law, you will get splinters. You can't think that you can live your life the way you want to without there being consequences. And we've seen that with these A-listed celebrities. We've seen that with the, the YouTuber Young Philly just this very day. And friends, it will happen to you also. So please consider what I'm saying. If you've not yet tried, getting married, investing in, in God's way, 
obeying the Bible, repenting, turning to the Lord Jesus Christ. Why haven't you tried it? Because after all, if you're really honest with me, what you're doing right now, it's not working, is it? And I'm telling you, I'm a man who's found peace and joy in obeying God. And you can have that too, if you really want it. Okay, here's the part you've all been waiting for. Let's talk about Florida. Uh, it has dropped It has dropped 50 millibars in 10 hours. Um, I apologize. This is just horrific. Was that weatherman right for crying on live television? Well, I think he was right. Why? That weatherman has something that you and I don't have. He knows how to read the weather. And that weatherman knew what was coming to Florida. He knew the seriousness of the situation and his heart was filled with brokenness, fearing for what could happen to the people. He knew that it was not looking good for those people in Florida and he wished the situation was different. Now, as you know, I'm, as you can tell from my accent, I'm not American, I'm not in Florida, I'm not in Tampa. I don't know exactly what's happened. I can see things on the news and it does seem that there has been a huge answer to prayer and the situation wasn't quite as bad because it seems like God has, has covered Florida and protected it. And just like that, the Lord has heard our prayers. It went from a category five to then a four and then to a three. It hit as a three, turned into a two almost immediately and then uh, it rode out and then turned into a one. And now as of this morning, it looks like it has pretty much dismantled for the most part, uh, but you can see how it's just, it's not nearly as powerful as it was before. And so Lord, we just thank you so much for hearing our prayers. We thank you so much for uh, for, for coming to the rescue, Lord. But friends, the weatherman was right ultimately, because as we do again, look at the, the videos, we look at the pictures of Florida, those of you who are there, we can't diminish the situation. People have lost a lot, and some people have sadly even lost their lives because of this. And friends, why am I telling you this? You see, as Christians, as preachers, as people who study the Bible, there is a message for all of us. You see, we know what is coming to all those people, to the whole world, for all those who are outside of Christ. There is something bad that is around the corner and it's God's wrath. Can I read a verse to you in the Bible? It's in Psalm 33 and it's verse eight. It says, let all the earth fear the Lord. Let all the inhabitants of the world stand in awe of him. Friends, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. And one day this world will see the judgment of the Lord. And that's why we as preachers, that's why we as Christians, we go out and we share the message of the Bible because we know, like that weatherman, we know something bad is coming and we do not want you to face the wrath of God because we know it's so easy to escape the wrath of God. It, wa it wasn't easy for the Lord Jesus Christ, but it's easy for us. You see, the price has been paid and on the cross, the Lord Jesus Christ, he absorbed the wrath of God. He took in his body all of the the sins of the world and there he died in our place so he could turn away that wrath and direct it on himself to save us and my dear friends some of you you are not hiding in the Lord Jesus Christ some of you you are arrogant and you say my good works will earn me a place into heaven I can offer God my good works I'm a good person I'm going there but the Bible says there is no man that is good. The best things we can do, they're like filthy rags. And the only way we get to heaven is by trusting in Christ, trusting in his finished work. There is no price you can pay because the price has already been paid in the Lord Jesus Christ with his very blood. And I am telling you to turn to the Lord Jesus Christ, to come to him and to escape, to flee the wrath that is coming and to hide in him and find shelter and safety in him alone.
Something that perhaps has added a positive light to everything that's happened in Florida is a man called Lieutenant Dan. Have you heard of him? He's named after the, 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 the character, the, the flamboyant character in the Forrest Gump films. And Lieutenant Dan, he lives inside of a boat. And this man, even though everyone said, you need to get out, you know it's coming, it's coming, you're not going to survive this. What has Dan done? He said, Listen guys, if we know anything from history, we know that Noah was safe inside of the ark. And here I am in my boat, I'm going to be absolutely fine. I'm not going to worry about it. And so many people begged him to go. Anyway, did Dan make it? Well, I've got good news to tell you if you didn't know already. Dan is alive and well. He did make it and I believe many people prayed for him and God answered their prayer. But why did Dan talk about Noah? Well you see Noah was told to build an ark and inside the ark there would be safety from the judgment of God. He knew that if he was inside the ark ultimately he was totally safe. And the ark, it was made of wood. And so we have another ark in the Lord Jesus Christ, the cross. And anyone who falls at the foot of the cross, not because the cross is special, but because the one who went on that cross is special. Anyone who gets in the ark and puts on Christ is safe from the judgment of God. And just like Dan made it alive, the Lord Jesus Christ, he had all of the judgments of God poured out on him, all of the judgment for our sin. He was put in a tomb and on the third day he came out alive, he rose from the dead and that is why we trust in Christ. Have you put your trust in him? Have you put your trust in the Son of God and are you safe when that comes, when the big thing comes, the wrath of God comes, will you be safe on that day? I pray the answer is yes. Whilst we're thinking about prayer, please, please do pray for all of the souls in Florida and Tampa who are trying to pick up their lives. Who We need to pray for these people right now. And also uh, another area that has, has had a similar situation that, that you haven't heard much about is Romania. My video editor is from Romania and he's been telling me all about it. Please, let's also pray for Romania right now. That the people there, that as they try to pick up their lives, God will restore to them the years that the locusts have eaten as the Bible says. And friends, if you are new to this channel and you found this video helpful in any way, please do subscribe. And something else, perhaps, um, people keep asking me, what are these two books behind you? Now, um, I need to think of something a little bit better to put in the background here. I don't know, I've not thought yet what could be a good backdrop. Maybe someone could give me a suggestion, but um, they're literally just my two books. And if you want to get a copy of them, uh, this is 100 Pure Thoughts. Uh, and this is all about the, the theme of how do we stay holy. It's a, a devotional with 100 thoughts in it. So 100 Pure Thoughts. And this one is just a compilation of uh, Bible verses. Uh, it's for non-believers primarily. Uh, and it answers questions like, you know, uh, what is the Trinity and who is God? And it uses different Bible verses. Uh, and the name of that is Don't Ask Google, Ask the Bible. So if you want to get a copy of them please do they're just my books and if you want to see a video kind of similar to what we've been talking about right now please do click here god bless you all and thank you for watching